In this demo, we are going to explore and see how Dscope can be used to add passkeys to any existing Cognito application. What you're seeing here is a sample Cognito application where we have added Dscope as an authentication provider for enabling passkeys. We support this use case by Dscope becoming an OIDC provider. Let's try to log in. Here we have used the default login setup for Cognito application and added Dscope as a OIDC provider. When you log in here, you're redirected to the Dscope embedded flow and the user will be asked to log in with pass keys into the system. The user is prompted to log in with pass keys. They continue the system create pass key where I can log in using the touch ID or any other supported authenticator. Since this is the first time this user is logging in, we verify the email using a six digit code. Let's enter the six digit code that is sent to the email. And the user is successfully logged in. To see that the user has access to the Cognito infrastructure and all APIs can be verified, we just test an API call, which is used with the Cognito credentials and it is successful. This is a quick demo of how the user experience will look like when you use Dscope for authenticating with pass keys using OIDC. Now let's see how we set up this whole environment. From a setup perspective, we have set up the Cognito user pool here as a sample. In the sign-in experiences, we have enabled identity provider, which is OIDC provider type, and we have configured all the different attributes. The details of all of these attributes and setup can be found in Dscope documentation or the accompanied blog, which is linked in the description. In addition to the OIDC setup, we have also set up certain Lambda functions to merge the user identity when there is already an existing user with the same email address and the user signs up with pass keys as well. These Lambda triggers can be found in the user pool properties. And as you can see, we have a pre-sign up Lambda trigger and the Lambda function is able to go ahead and merge the user identity using the Cognito API after validating the email address. On the Dscope side, the setup is extremely simple. There are two different pieces that we have set up. One, we have set up a Dscope flow for logging in with pass keys. This flow is a very typical pass keys flow where you design a screen to log in with pass keys. Then you authenticate the user using WebAuthn, check if the email is verified or not. If the email is not verified, you verify the email using OTP. If the email is verified, you add custom attributes to the custom claim. With this entire flow, the user can be logged in with pass keys and verified if the email is not verified. In addition to this particular setup, the only other setup you require is for the OIDC connector where you, you provide certain attributes such as where your application is hosting the flow and other discovery URLs uh, and parameters are already provided to you. And these can be used in the Cognito setup screen. So to recap, what we have shown here is an extremely easy way to add pass keys to an existing Cognito application using OIDC and Dscope. Thank you.